everyone. Today is Wednesday, October 31st, 2018. Happy Halloween to all. Today is Halloween. <laughs> Today I am in the process right now of making hard boiled eggs. I'm going to have some hard boiled eggs for breakfast as well as my mom left me a ham bone and if you guys don't know I am a huge meat lover. Here's the ham bone in here. Oops. It's it's in there. I'll show you. A bit. I'll show you it a bit later. But I'm gonna kind of gnaw on that today. Cause she left me a lot of meat on there. But anyways, I'm just boiling the eggs right now. We got about almost seven minutes left. We I do the ten for ten, so I boiled the water for 10 minutes and now I am boiling the eggs for 10 and then you let them um, cool in cold water for 10 minutes and then you can peel them and eat them. Um, I'll leave a, I'll leave the vlog where I talk about these hard boiled eggs down below if you guys want to check that out. That is a vlog where I basically went step by step on how I make hard boiled eggs so I will be sure so leave that link down below. Um, I got distracted by falling leaves, you guys. Leaves are falling everywhere, especially on this guy's car out here. I'm not going to show the person's car, but they're all like on the rim of the windshield. <coughs> they're all on like the rim of the windshield, so... I'm just trying to keep the keep them from like over boiling. So I have them on a slow boil right now because they were boiling pretty fast before my eggs. But I think that's what I'm gonna do for breakfast this morning. Um, we are loaded on candy, and if I do have to say so myself, um, we've been snacking on it for the past couple of days because we don't know. How many trick-or-treaters that we'll have tonight um the max that we'll usually get is three and that is my nieces and nephew because i mean they just come around here all the time they know us obviously we're a family to them so they can come and get candy and all that kind of stuff um but we'll see how many trick or treaters we get. And if we go with the same last year, as like I said, three, we got three last year. So like I was saying, if we get three again this year, we don't know what we're gonna do, but we always get the same three. They're always pretty much expected every Halloween. Um, tonight is the last Vlogtober video, you guys. It's the last one. It kind of makes me sad, but let me just say right here, right now, for the vlog and just for it in general, Doing Vlogtober was probably, it was really fun. It was probably one of the most fun things, especially with it being Halloween this month and all just the fun fall festivities that we had, that we had to do, that we still have to do with November and Thanksgiving and um, Christmas will soon be coming. So expect Vlogmas on this channel to come as well as Christmas related videos on my personal channel, but not Vlogmas, I'm doing Vlogmas on the daily, on the vlog channel, so. Which, if you guys didn't know, I already have the Vlogmas intro slate made for Vlogmas this December 2018, so that's exciting. But I just wanted to say that doing um, Vlogtober was definitely something different, something new, but it was definitely something really, really cool. I enjoyed it, and I will definitely be doing it again in probably the next coming years, so let me know your guys' thoughts in tonight's video that I will be posting. I'll be doing kind of like uh, an opinion, like an opinion version, like how did you guys feel about Vlogtober? And maybe also something Halloween related. I don't know. I, already ha I have done a couple Halloween videos if you guys did not catch up on those. Always, as always, the Vlogtober playlist is linked down below in my um, It's Cal it's Calster description. So go on ahead and click that so you can be ahead on Vlogtober. 
I have about two minutes left on the boiling of the eggs. They're on a very slow boil. So let me turn it up just a notch. Um, they're not quite done, so I might actually leave them in for like another three minutes or something. Um, they got about two minutes and 13 seconds left. Um, but yeah. I hope tonight's weather, it's supposed to be pretty chilly tonight. So if any of you are trick-or-treating with your children or just by yourself with family, friends, be sure to stay safe, stay warm, and don't eat too much candy, kids. Don't eat too much, but, but then again, you can never have too much on a Halloween. Be safe, have fun, stay warm. Got about one minute left. I just occasionally stir these for this white stuff that comes up just from the boiling of the eggs. So actually they might be done once the minute is up. Got about a minute and 16 seconds. I see that all the foam right here that's from the ears all the foam on top of them that's just from the boiling at about 52 seconds wait until the timer goes off you guys it was a really chilly windy day yesterday very cool and windy day and we had ham and bean soup last night oh my gosh it was delicious ham and bean soup which is what that ham bone is left over from oh my gosh that's the timer all right, we can turn these off. Let them cool down for one second before I touch them. <laughs> we had ham and bean soup last night. It was delicious. But now without further ado, let me grab the eggs here. And what I like to do first is put the strainer down in the sink. This way I don't hurt myself. And then I drain the eggs. Also what I do first is take the eggs out before I drain the water. Cause you wanna fill the water. You wanna fill it with cold water is what you wanna do, so. You want to fill it with cold water so that they cool down for 10 minutes. Now that's all steam. So it's gonna feel like it's some of the eggs kind of cool down. But I'm gonna put some cold water on because I don't know if you can see that there is steam. There is steam coming out it's from the water going. So I am going to wait until the water gets cold, which it is. So I'm going to fill this up with some cold water. Let them cool down for 5 to 10 minutes, like normal. And then we can peel them as soon as they cool up, cool down, rather cool up. <laughs> One of them, I only made two because we go through eggs like nobody's business in this house. We go through eggs like nobody's business. And one of the eggs has already started to crack, which is somewhat a good thing if you guys have never made four gold eggs before. It is somewhat a good thing. What is all this happy business? I'm not going to be super 
I love what you notice after you make a meal the night before and you notice all the like pantomime stuff all over. I'm just going to let the eggs kind of cool down before I go and peel them. I have about two minutes left on the boiling of the eggs. They're on a very slow boil. So I'm going to turn it up just a notch. Um, they're not quite done, so I might actually leave them in for like another three minutes or something. Um, they got about two minutes and 13 seconds left. Um, but yeah. I hope tonight's weather, it's supposed to be pretty chilly tonight. So if any of you are trick-or-treating with your children or just by yourself with family, friends, be sure to stay safe, stay warm, and don't eat too much candy, kids. Don't eat too much, but, but then again, you can never have too much on a Halloween. Be safe, have fun, stay warm. Got about one minute left. I just occasionally stir these for this white stuff that comes up just from the boiling of the eggs. So actually they might be done once the minute is up. Got about a minute and 16 seconds. I see that all the foam right here that's from the ears all the foam on top of them that's just from the boiling at about 52 seconds wait until the timer goes off you guys it was a really chilly windy day yesterday very cool and windy day and we had ham and bean soup last night oh my gosh it was delicious ham and bean soup which is what that ham bone is left over from oh my gosh that's the timer all right we can turn these off let them cool down for one second before I touch them. <laughs> we had ham and bean soup last night. It was delicious. But now without further ado, let me grab the eggs here. And what I like to do first is put the strainer down in the sink. This way I don't hurt myself. And then I drain the eggs. Also, what I do first is take the eggs out before I drain the water. Because you want to fill the water. You want to fill it with cold water is what you want to do. So. You want to fill it with cold water so that they cool down for 10 minutes. steam so it's gonna feel like it's some of the eggs kind of cool down but I'm gonna put some cold water on because I don't know if you can see but there is steam there is steam coming out it's from the water going so I am gonna wait until the water gets cold which it is so I'm gonna fill this up with some cold water let them cool down for five to ten minutes like normal and then we can peel them as soon as they cool up, cool down, rather cool up. Okay. One of them, I only made two because we go through eggs like nobody's business in this house. We go through eggs like nobody's business. And one of the eggs has already started to crack. 
which is somewhat a good thing if you guys have never made Horde Relics before. It is somewhat a good thing. What is all this happy business? I love what you notice after you make a meal the night before and you notice all the like panting stuff all over. I won't get my phone 